Hey everybody, it's Mike here from The Art of Guitar. Today I am here to do what I like to call a pay it forward video. And that's because whenever somebody helps me out in any area of my life and I can return the favor to either that person or to everybody else that I come into contact with, uh, I will try to do that. So a long time ago I was in a country band and I remember the singer giving me a certain tip for a song that he says gets rid of all earworms. So if you ever get something stuck in your head and you just can't get it out, like the other night I was trying to go to sleep, and all of a sudden out of nowhere, the song Wagon Wheel pops in my head. Now, unless you love that song, I mean, even if you do, it can still get really annoying. Any song can, if it's playing hundreds of times over and over again in your mind and you're trying to sleep. Hey, mom, hey. So I remember the wise words of the singer of my country band, and he's like, you know what, uh, imagine this song, and for some weird reason, it'll get rid of the earworm. And here's the best part. The song that you're using to get rid of the earworm will not get stuck in your head like you might think it would. Now, I was a little bit skeptical because it just sounded like some kind of made up like wives tale like they used to call them. And so I tried it for the first time and I remember it working and going, oh my gosh, I don't know if this really works or if it's the power of suggestion or what happened. And then the other night with Wagon Wheel, when it worked again, I realized that I had to make this video just to help people out that might be suffering from the same issue. Okay, I know everyone's just like, just tell me the song, okay? But what I wanna do is I wanna play the first couple of uh, lines of the intro and see if you know what it is off of that right off the back. Cause not a lot of people actually know this song. I was surprised, it goes like this. So if you're a Beatles fan, you know that the song is called Michelle. And I'm gonna give you my theory on why I think this works uh, in getting rid of earworms. But uh, first of all, I wanna let you know that it's one of my favorite Beatles songs. It's off of Rubber Soul. And the first time I heard it, it just has this distinct sound to it. And it's very calming at the same time. So if you do have a song stuck in your head late at night, it's like the perfect antidote for that. Now don't get it confused with My Michelle by Guns N' Roses. I have never tried it before, but I doubt that it'll have the same effect. It might actually freak you out a little bit if it's the middle of the night and you're thinking of Axl Rose screaming at you. So here's my theory on why this particular song gets rid of earworms. First of all, right off the bat, it's a pretty peculiar intro, isn't it? The descending bass line. Pretty typical of a lot of Beatles tunes, right? And then how it ends here. Goes into a strong C chord, C major, we're capoed, so keep that in mind. And then here's where I really think it helps get rid of uh, the earworms. You go to this F chord. It's a very common sounding major chord, right? So your brain is kind of going in one direction and it's flowing in a nice way. And all of a sudden, this chord happens. B flat seven sharp nine. Now it's labeled the Greddy chord because I believe that the guy who taught Paul McCartney and George Harrison that chord, supposedly, this is just a story I heard, uh, his last name was Greddy. So they call it the Greddy chord. And I honestly think that that chord is what messes with your brain function for a second because you're not expecting it to go to that chord. This is just bro science, you know, but uh, this is what I think happens. So you hear this nice major chord. By the way, imagine the vocal line as well. That's gonna help too. All of a sudden, I think your brain scrambles to go, what is this craziness? Then you go to this nice six chord. Now here's another part of it that I think scrambles your brain in a good way. There's a series of inverted diminished chords. Now the sound of a diminished chord is already strange, right? Lots of colors going on in there. Then to move it up the neck with different inversions, twists it around in a really interesting way. And I believe that the tones of these chords are scrambling your brain in a way that it's really hard to go back to the original song that was stuck in your head, the earworm. Kind of like if you take a record and you scratch it and you try to play it back, it doesn't really play back the right way, it skips, it just doesn't sound the same. So in a weird way, I believe that the chords of Michelle mixed with the melody of the vocal is scratching your brain, scrambling your mind a little bit in order to keep you from remembering the song that was haunting you. Now, I usually don't have to go as far as the middle eight or the bridge, the Beatles like to call it the middle eight, 
uh, in order for this to be effective. Usually it works right up into that point that I just played. But if it's not quite working as strong as you want, go ahead and sing the bridge in your mind as well. And hopefully you get the same benefits from this song that I do. So it's worked twice for me in the last week. The first time was with Wagon Wheel and the other night it happened again. And I was so amazed that it worked. I had to run here today and make this video just to, like I said, pay it forward. So in the comment section, whether it works for you or not, let us know. This would be a really cool experiment to see if it was just some old wives tale or if the singer of the country band was actually onto something and he gave me some uh, pearls of wisdom from ancient knowledge or something. And now you guys know it too. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. We'll catch you at the next video. Bye-bye.